Okay, TM Nation, these are the newly released EarFun Free Pro 3 True Wireless Earbuds, and these are without a doubt some of the most complete earbuds that I've tested out this year so far for under 100 bucks. They come in at $79.99 retail, but at the time of the video, they're on sale for 25% off, which will bring them down to right around 60, and that's a heck of a deal. I will go into detail later on in this video about all you get with these earbuds, but for the highlights, they are compatible with the EarFun app, that allows you to customize your sound and a bunch of other stuff. They feature three mics in each earbud with CVC 8.0 for that crispy call quality, active noise cancellation and transparency modes, Bluetooth 5.3 with multi-point connectivity and AptX compatibility, and very good sound quality too. Like I said, these check pretty much every box that I look for in a solid pair of all-around true wireless earbuds, but they definitely are not perfect, so you wanna make sure you watch the full video because I will give you the good and the not so good so that you can make a more informed buying decision. As far as what you'll get inside of the box, you'll get pretty much your normal stuff to include your user manual and other documentation, a USB type C cable to charge the case, different sized ear tips and wings so that you can swap them out if you need to, and of course you'll get the case along with the earbuds. The design of the case is fine for me. There isn't too much going on on the outside besides your earphone branding on the top, the LED indicator light in the front, and you have your USB type C port for charging in the back but I do like the fact that it's small and compact enough to throw in pretty much any sized pocket. It does support wireless charging, which is always a plus in my book, and it will charge the earbuds about three and a half times or so once they go dead. And on a single charge with the earbuds, if you use them without ANC, you can get up to seven and a half hours. If you use them with ANC, you'll get about six. As far as the design of the earbuds goes, I've always had good experiences across the Free Pro lineup, and these are no different. I do like the fact that they have ear wings and comfortable ear tips, because not only do they fit securely in my ears, but I can wear them for hours at a time with no issues. These in particular hug my ears great during exercise. The seal is fine to maximize the amount of sound that is blocked out and ensure I'm hearing most of what's being played through the buds so I have no complaints with the fit. For exercise, I've been able to jump rope, walk, and jog using them without any issues whatsoever even when my ears began to sweat. I also have to say that it's extremely rare for me to get through a full 30 minute jump rope session without having to reposition my earbuds at all, but that was the case with these. I didn't have to touch them, which like I said, is really rare. The IPX5 water resistance rating also kept them from malfunctioning on me while they were wet, so if that's a concern for you, heavy sweat won't damage them. The Free Pro 3s do use touch controls, which have been accurate for me so far, and you do get full playback controls with them, so you can adjust your tracks, your calls, summon your voice assistant, turn your volume both up and down, and control your ANC and transparency too. You do also have the ability to customize them in the app so that you can ensure that the taps align with what makes you comfortable. Inside of the app, you also have a bunch of different things that you can do. You can see the charge left on both the earbuds and the case, update the firmware when applicable, select from pre-built EQs and create your own, access the user manual on the go, select your ANC and transparency mode settings, turn on or off the low latency gaming mode, find your earbuds if you misplace them, and you can even disable all of your touch controls if you find yourself executing them by accident. Like I said, there's a bunch that you can do inside of it to make the experience that you get with the earbuds tailored to what you're looking for, which is always a plus. For the call quality, as I mentioned earlier, these do have a total of six mics and they utilize CVC 8.0 to help focus on your speech and reduce some of the noise going on around you. I did take samples for you guys just so that you can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 13 mini and right now what you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them. I'm not going to do any type of editing to this sample and right now the room is relatively quiet but I am going to play some background noise just so that you guys have a pretty good idea of how well they can focus on speech while rejecting some of that. Give me a minute. Hey. 
and I'll go ahead and start talking again. So again, this should give you a pretty good idea of how well these mics can focus on my speech while rejecting some of the noise going on around me. Now touching on the ANC performance, I did test them in a couple of different environments and they were impressive in this department, although I wouldn't say that they're top tier. Walking outside around my neighborhood wearing them, I would say that they reduced about 70% of the sounds going on around me to a level where they were either barely audible or canceled out. Now I was still able to hear sounds such as a louder car passing by me, the kids screaming and yelling, and some of the lawnmower noise going on around me, but pretty much everything else was drowned out. But I do want to mention that for those lingering sounds that were not completely drowned out, all that I had to do was crank my music up about 60% and I could no longer hear them. These do have a wind noise canceling setting inside of the app too, but I didn't see a huge difference when I toggled it on or off. The performance really was similar to my ears. But besides that, the transparency mode also did perform well during my testing, but much like the ANC, it's pretty much on or off. You don't have the ability to have it key in on voices or other sounds. I do like the way that it performed though, because it sounds more like an amplified pass through. It did not sound robotic, or simulated like what I get with some other transparency earbuds and I would say that it allowed me to hear what was going on around me within about a four to five foot radius which I would say is decent to good performance in comparison to other transparency earbuds around this price point. Now moving on to the sound quality guys I did go ahead and create my own custom EQ with these earbuds and they sound really good. However, if you don't like to play with the EQ bands, I would say that you either start with the rock or pop EQs as they both provide a really dynamic sound. With them tuned the way that I set them, the detail is very good as I can hear background instruments and vocals really well. The mids do come through clear as well, but just not as prominent as they were out of the box because I thought they were a little bit too forward and the bass is very impressive too. Now I did not remember my previous Earfun earbuds providing such a deep dump because it had been quite a while since I used them, but these have been a pleasant surprise as hip hop and R&B tracks that have bass lines that some other earbuds cannot pick up are easy to hear with these. The output is also good at about 75% of the max volume. I can usually keep them here and be satisfied without feeling the need to max them out. That being said guys, I really don't have any complaints about the sound signature I get with these earbuds. Yes, like most pairs around this price point, they don't do the best job with sound separation, especially if you go ahead and push them beyond 75% of the max volume. But in my experience, as long as you keep them between 50 50 and 75% you should be good. I do want to mention that I don't have a Snapdragon sound compatible device, so I was not able to test that out, but they did sound great when I tested them in both the SBC and AAC codecs, and they also support Aptex Adaptive along with LC3 as well. So touching on the total package, being that you can get these for right at 60 bucks at the moment, they are almost unbeatable for me at that price. Yes, there are other earbuds that provide similar specs, but the two areas where these excel for me are the fit and the sound quality. And before I get into those two highlights, I do wanna say that the call quality was not quite at the level that I expected it to be, as it did sound kind of robotic and distorted at times, but the sound quality performance is exactly what I look for in a pair of earbuds. The highs, like I said just a moment ago, are crisp, and not many earbuds that I've tried can maintain a nice punchy bass response and a nice rumble at the same time without distorting pretty much everything else. These do a good job in that department, which is something that I need for a pair of earbuds that I can use across everything, whether it be casual listening, travel, or exercise. And I'm happy to say that this is one pair of earbuds that I can throw in my pocket and do anything with. They do perform at a high level no matter what I throw at them and they're not so expensive that if I happen to lose my pair that I'll have to think twice about replacing them. All of that being said fam, these are pretty much a no-brainer for me. If you need a solid pair of all-around earbuds that won't break the bank, these are my go-to pair at the moment. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tech Mo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.